So with that being said, let's get into the acting. One of these sisters is definitely a misfit in a family of the storyteller's family. In a family of the storyteller's family. A part, a part of the Get it, everyone. That's what I'm talking Help a brother out. Indeed. Indeed. A part of the storyteller's family. That's what we do here. Family, see? And the other sister who's getting up here with her, I hope, also becomes a regular face to storytellers as well. Everyone, please give it up for Hannah Lynn and Chris. Y'all give it up. shots of golden because she brags that no one can ever get a candy shot of her and I yes and then she deletes them from my camera yes she does yes she does so last month when I was here I said that what I was reading was steel magnolias because I'm playing Shelby in the production that the Woodbrook players are putting on um, in Towson and then I had to brainstorm while I was sitting there and I got so excited I couldn't wait to see Raven afterwards. I thought, what a great idea it would be if Chris and I came and gave you guys a sneak preview. Woo! I have charms for everybody. Well, I don't know for everybody. Whoever can. <laughs> but there are, I have some. There are cards, a pile of cards and flyers also on the front table, but it's um, May 7th and 8th, and May 14th and 15th. Um, so, we just need about 30 seconds to set up real quick, and then we're gonna introduce you guys to Trudy's Beauty Salon, and to Lola and Shelby. Bye-bye. 
thought, oh, I see. Mama, I know. I know. You think I haven't thought this through. But you can't live a life and worry all the time, and you worry too much. Well, in some ways, it's a comfort to me. I never worry because you worry enough for the both of us. Jackson and I have given us a lot of thought. Has he? This is the first time for everything. Now, Mama, don't start on Jackson. <laughs> Shelby, your poor body has been through so much. Why would you deliberately? Diabetics have healthy babies all the time. You are special. There are limits to what you can do. Mama, I've thought it all out and I'm going to be very careful. And this time next year, I'm going to be bringing a big, healthy grandbaby to the Christmas festival and no one's going to be hurt or, or disappointed or even inconvenienced. Well, at least of all, Jackson, I'm sure. Well, you're just jealous because you no longer call the shots. And that drives you up a wall. And you're so mad you could spit nails because you no longer have me say so in what I do. Shelby, I did not raise you to talk to me like that. Yes, you did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but if any of us asked you what you wanted us to be when we grew up, what did you say? Shelby, I am not in the mood to play games. Oh, Mama, just answer me. Tell me what you said. I said all I wanted was for you to be